If you're into trucks, and if you're into big boy trucks, this is the biggest big boy truck of them all. It's the new Ram 5500 Heavy Duty Limited. Yep, it's a chassis cab, and it's the top of the line, most luxurious chassis cab that you could probably buy today. And coming up right now in this video, we're gonna take it for a ride, and we're gonna find out what it's like to go to work in something that feels like the Ferrari of trucks. So we're here guys at um, an annual program that FCA, in this case, Ram puts on, which is the ability to go and just drive a bunch of different FCA vehicles. And so we're here at the Chelsea Proving Grounds. And so um, I always look forward to this every year because I get go behind the wheel. And the very first vehicle that I had to get behind the wheel of was of course this truck, because you know, it's it's if you're a truck guy, this is the biggest tool in the toolbox. <laughs> so we are in uh, the big boy Ram. It doesn't get any bigger than this, at least not in the Ram brand, right? We're in the 5500 chassis cab dually. Uh, and uh, we were talking about numbers. So let's talk about some numbers. Uh, first of all, uh, 43,000. 43,000 GCWR, gross yeah. combination weight rating. Uh, this truck actually is um, maxed out for uh, the best in class uh, with a 489 rear axle ratio. We're at 35,220 pounds of towing in this beast. Yeah, that's uh, that's some big boy towing. And then, of course, under the hood, we have the big straight six Cummins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 67. This is rated at 360 uh, horsepower, 800 pound feet of torque, which is best in class for yep. class four or five segment. This one's a six speed yep. Ison transmission. Yep. That's what we'll always pair with the uh, with the Cummins. Um, you need that that Ison, which is gonna be able to handle uh, you know some of those workloads. You know, again, up to that 489 rear axle ratio, it does uh, really does the job and pairs very well. And talk to me about the kind of the customer for this. What, who, who's buying these chassis cabs? Is it fleet sales or is it individuals or is it both? Uh, a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, but you're gonna see a, a real true niche market for the limited, uh, as you would expect. This is not something where half of our trucks are gonna be limited, right? right yeah. That we're selling maybe with towing and recovery, where you have a lot of owner operators that are spending a lot of time in their trucks, and uh, so they want to be able to put their best foot forward for their business, um, you know, and but also for themselves, uh, a little bit selfishly to be able to have a nice truck to, to ride around in. Uh, some of your luxury hauling, so those may be like in the, uh, you know, maybe in like the equine industry, for example, sure. where yeah, you're, like you're said, know, these the horse, horse haulers. Yeah, there. with living quarters, if you're going from rodeo to rodeo, yeah. stuff like that. So a chassis cab, of course, is a truck that comes basically with nothing in the back. And in this case, we've got a CM truck bed that's been put on the back of this truck for, well, it's a flatbed. You could use it to tow, you could use it probably to haul some stuff but these trucks come in multiple configurations in the aftermarket so you can use them for things like towing, you can use them for things like uh, service bodies where you can store stuff in them. There's just a variety of uses and it's one of these kinds of trucks that until you actually notice them on the road you don't know that they're everywhere. The bed that's on this is a CM, uh, CM truck bed, uh, you know, steel, uh, steel bed with a um you know, the class five uh, standard hitch uh, rating for it. And so it's it's something where with the luxury and the, the premium appointments that the limited chassis cab features, we are fortunate enough to have a bed that, that really matches that. Yeah, it looks really good. I mean, it's painted uh, and it, it really matches the rest of this vehicle. And what's mm -hmm. really unusual about these big 5500s is you think this is a work truck, right? Because this is a truck that's used I mean, I guess, I guess if you're towing one of those big horse trailers with living quarters, right, you could use this, uh, but mainly it's, it's a work truck. You're not going to be driving this, uh, to your kids, um, <laughs> soccer game, right? Well, yes. And, and you would still turn a lot of heads if you did bring it to the soccer game. So what I, I think is, um, what this really brings is, a, a kind of completes the, the full circle of what the Ram chassis cab can offer and that you have some at the a base tradesman level that is a true work truck and, and is going to get the job done for you for whatever you're tasking it for. But then you can bring that all the way up to a limited where you have true capability, but also the, uh, you know, the comfort that, that goes 
with that, it. I mean, it, and that's where I was going with this. Yeah. I mean, I'm sitting here. I've got this massive screen with 12 my inch screen, yeah. twelve inch screen with my HVAC with my radio. I've got these incredibly useful towing mirrors with yeah. I, I noticed built-in cameras right yes uh, you have trailer reverse guidance okay. guidance yeah so if I did have a trailer behind this truck I could use this big screen to see what was behind me and I'm sitting mm -hmm. in what is the lap of luxury I mean look at this French stitching and it's funny it is French stitching but it's in a limited <laughs> with a very Western theme to it yeah <laughs> let's face it guys most chassis cab trucks are gonna be like this this is not the limited the limited gets sold to what less than a couple percentage points of the market but this is the work truck that most buyers are going to use and this happens to have a cherry picker behind it but come on in let me show you the inside and the limited of course leather french stitching beautiful materials here it's a little bit more work trucky so vinyl seats vinyl floor it's no 12 inch display a basic display uh, and this is the kind of truck that most work guys are going to be familiar with but it still has a ton of capability because under the hood, of course, you've got the diesel Cummins. And even though this is a cherry picker, let's see how much this bad boy can tow. Let's see what's on the sticker of this particular chassis cab. And there you go, 16,000 pounds. That's still a lot of capability for something that can go and, uh, well, in this case, basically fix electrical lines. What does this start at? You know, how much does the chassis cab start at, and how much is this limited, which is going to be the top end of the scale? Uh, yeah, uh, and, and that really ranges because in a 35, you start off with a 3500 uh, reg cab, uh, single rear wheel, you know, chassis cab. You're you're looking about uh, 34, five. Yep. Uh, starting off, now you get up into the the limited neck of the woods. Um, you're starting off uh, base MSRP in the in the 3500. Uh, chassis cap you're around 52 yep. uh, 53,000 how about in the 5500 give me the number in, for this in the, oh in the 5500 yeah. uh, you're going to be in the, the low 60s to start in the 55 well, this is not low 60s this uh, here is not in no. the low 60s <laughs> this is uh, specced by Adrian Ratza himself yeah. and wanted to make sure that we were definitely putting our best foot forward with the limited so this has some of the uh, additional features that come with things like the safety group um, that's gonna to have uh, you know the trailer reverse guidance as I, I mentioned there a little bit earlier along with some of the other I guess uh, additional features. Adrian, I'm, I'm asking added. you is this over 100k? Uh, with the CM truck bed on it I still would not put this at six figures um, but I, I would definitely uh, I think we're we're flirting with that. I figured, that number. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I figured. And who do you uh, look to as kind of your biggest competitor? I, I'm not just uh, saying this just uh, uh, pay lip service to Ram and, and try to puff our chest out, but I, I with the limited chassis cab, we're the only. Uh, you know, we're the only chassis cab OEM in the segment that does offer this uh, level of premium appointments. Uh, you look at some of the other, you know, competition, and and you know, I'll have to. Uh, I'll call them, you know, with Ford, for example, yeah, they, Ford. Uh, yeah. yeah, Ford does not, uh, you know, they they offer what Platinum on and some of the other, um, some of their other vehicles, but they don't offer that in the chassis cab. Yeah. Uh, the the they do offer a Lariat, um, but that would be more of an equivalent to our Laramie. Yeah, yeah. So you're at the top level with us, and mm -hmm. so there's nobody else who's doing this. That's right. And let's face it, I mean, this, this truck was built as a show truck, right? This, mm -hmm. this was unveiled at the Chicago Auto mm -hmm. Show, and so, so this was uh, yep. uh, uh, kind of a, a vehicle that highlights kind of the best and the boldest and the brightest that, that Ram brings it, it to does. the table. Yeah. To me, it's a true halo vehicle for the brand. Yeah, yeah it in is. That yeah. It's, you're talking about um, ultimate capability and functionality. You know, the technology that all of the, that this can bring is is really um, at, at its pinnacle here. So guys, let us know in the comments below uh, if you drive a chassis cab and what you use it for and is this kind of your ultimate dream truck. So if you're, you know, if you're out there working every day, and you get behind the wheel of something that has kind of this much luxury, right? I mean, this is, I feel like I'm i am in the Ferrari of trucks, actually. <laughs> of course, fuel economy, heavy duty trucks aren't rated. Right. Um, and so we don't know, we certainly don't know what putting, you know, a custom 
bet on it does to it, but I think it's a really good video that we should do. We should, if you, if at some point you want to send this our way, mm -hmm. we, we would love to actually put it through its paces and, you know, get you guys the kind of information that you're looking for. You know, take it up to Ike Gauntlet, mm -hmm. stick it on our MPG loop and see, see how it does. Well, thank you very much for uh, this chance to drive this uh, truck and the ability to kind of share it with our audience. And like I said, let us know in the comments below what you think. Would this be something that you'd like to, uh, have as your daily office. Mm -hmm. <laughs>